in this class. Now, again, to find m behavior, the only thing we care about with m behavior is the degree, right? You could multiply this out, but on a test, you don't want to be spending time doing stuff you actually don't need to have, care about, because when determining end behavior, we only need to care about the degree, which is the largest power. So just think about this, guys. If you were to multiply this out, the, the exponent with the largest power is going to be y to the third. Right? The rest of it, we actually just don't really care. We don't, well, it's not we don't care, but we don't need it for this question. The question is just, what is the end behavior? So now you guys see, oh, it's odd. Leading coefficient is positive. OK, so therefore, um, we'll do one with just this. So therefore, I know it's going to, a lot of times I just write this to help me out. Falls left, rises right. Right? A lot of times I just write that in there, because that's what I have memorized. I have the graph like pictured in my brain. So immediately once I see that, I'm saying, OK, it falls left, rises right. Right? Looks like that. But then, since my question on my quiz and pre-calculus will say, write this out you know, using this notation or using limits, I'll have to say, OK, so falls left means as x approaches negative infinity, that means as the graph goes to the left, f of x falls, so that means the y values, the output values, go towards negative infinity. And since I'm going to the right, I would say as x goes towards infinity, you guys agree, x goes to infinity is going to the right, and x goes to negative infinity is going to the left. Would you guys agree with that? So if it's rising, that means f of x is going to positive infinity. <coughs> OK.